Hey, good morning, guys. It's Dad. <clears throat> How are you? It's Tuesday morning. I just woke up. <laughs> you can tell my voice. But uh, here's uh, an idea of my room where I'm staying. The, uh, I'm living with a nice uh, lady and her son. And they let me use this room. Brad has his own room next door, which is really good. And uh, it's Tuesday morning. I tried to call you last night, but uh, my phone didn't seem to be working. So I'm going to have to buy a card with some minutes and give you a call tonight. But uh, I just thought I'd give you an idea as to what my day looks like. And as I move around today, I'm going to take some videos so you can see what I'm doing on a day to day basis here in the MSL. All right. I'll see you soon. Hey guys, okay now I've made my bed and I'm ready to go to work. As you can see, testing some of those kids. Kind of hoping you're going to hear the rooster crow. The rooster. Can you hear him? There's a louder one. Anyway, there's a rooster who's right outside my window who likes to crow as soon or even just before the sun. Oh, can you hear him? Anyway. Me and the rooster, we're not getting along pretty very well. But uh, it's because here in the house they have a chicken coop and they have a rooster in it. If I can, I'm going to bring it back there and show you. Okay, so you know, oh, actually, maybe I'll take you outside the room and we'll take a look at where I'm going to eat breakfast. So this is the house I'm staying in. And that's beautiful, eh? And here's Brad having breakfast. And uh, Mercedes. Take a look at what's on the table. All fresh fruit and bread and meat and eggs. Wow. You're taking up after your food. Ha ha There's the chickens in the back that one day we're going to eat. And they look yeah, good. She never buys eggs. She, oh, it's for eggs. Oh, okay. Oh, and the, and the eggs have been spectacular. What's the egg? What's eggs in French? In uh, Spanish? In French. Huevo. Uh, huevo? Uh huh. Oh, okay. The huevo. Fantastic. See? Mm hmm. <laughs> Gracias. And like every time, if, and like every time, mm -hmm. she picks one of them, like put them like for two months mm -hmm. to only eat what she gave them, and so then she can eat, so we can eat the one. Ah, oh, I see. So you have a special diet. Huh? One of them has a special diet. Mm, yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, thanks. Uh, you're feeling better this morning? Yeah. Good. So hey guys, so this is my walk up and I have to get out of the, the bars here. You'll notice everything has bars here. Everything, everything. All the houses have bars on their windows. Let's stop here. Oh, he's feeding chickens. Hey, voila. We're waiting for Brad for our long walk to the office. Here he comes. All right, Mr. Allard. Okay. Let's head out. So here's our walk. We have a nice home in there too. Eh? Here's our walk to the clinic. This is the clinic where Grandpa is going to be. We have a little dog, Fifi, here, lying in the road. She has a lame leg, I think. It's Fifi, by the way. Fifi. Yeah. Oh, I can see the people waiting for us at the clinic already up the street. It is now 7.35 and I am officially five minutes late. 
Hola. <coughs> There's another water thing up in the tower. And this in the house beside the water tower here, the brown one, is a man named Danny who was asking me about Kim. How is Kim? Because he met her in high school, apparently. And he's supposed to translate for us today. We hope. So there, if you can see up at the clinic, is Amanda and Michelle and Noelia, who does all the work at this end for us. Hey, cute little guy. Hola! <laughs> all right! Hey Amanda. Good, morning. Good morning. There's some kids going to school down the street. There's a school right next door. And this is the clinic where we go. So I'll hit pause now and I'll see. Okay guys, we're back in the pickup truck today. And we just left the clinic and we have all sorts of people with us. This is Michelle and Megan. You can see them there, hello. We have Amanda there, you can canvas her in the bright pink and red and some translators with us. We're on our way to the Bates to uh, test some hearing. There's some puppy dogs there. Sorry for the bouncing, guys. It's not the best road. So I'll see you once we get to the Bates. Okay guys, we just arrived in the truck and we have Amanda and Michelle and Robin going off to the next bate. So they're going into a cushioned seat as they drive the roads. A little bike going by. So here we are in Antonsi. This is a bate that uh, and Christine has had a lot of dealings with as well. So, okay guys, I'll uh, see you as I get in there and set up. Okay guys, so here is the, uh, here is the uh, bate that we're working in today. So this is called Santro Educativo Antansi. And so what we've done today is we've created a system. This is our friend Domingo, and he looks after all the kids. The kids come and sit in the chairs here, and they line up until they can come and see me in the uh, first part of the clinic. We've got somebody leaving now having her hearing tested. So here's the first room. In the first room, I have to talk a little quieter. So the first room has Megan and I. So the kids sit in this chair, and I look in their ears to make sure everything's okay. We found one young child with a big bug in her ear today. Uh, some kids with no eardrums and some kids with ear infections. So I look in their ears, and then once I'm ready and I'm okay, we pass that, then they go into the other room over here where Brad is, and he's testing with um, uh, Giselle, and she's our translator. Maybe we can see through the door there. And then once they're done, they come out and they sit here with Megan. And Megan logs all the information. Wave, Megan, wave. And then, can you show me what you have in the bag? And then Megan gives them one of the toys. There we go. We have all sorts of cool stuff. Wonderful. Awesome. Cool. And then that's it. And then they come out of the office and back to their classroom. And that's what we're doing today at Enfancy. Okay, talk to you later.